Ford Fiesta 1.5 TDCI oil change. Warm the engine with a short drive and securely raise the front of the car for access to the sump plug. If your car has an under tray you will need a T30 Torx to remove the fixings. Lift off the engine cover, remove the oil fill cap and the dipstick. We'll give the oil chance to drain back into the sump and cool a little to reduce burn risk by doing some work up top first. The oil filter is on the left end of the engine below the air intake hose. To access it we need to remove the air box. Disconnect the small vacuum pipe just below the MAF sensor. Disconnect the harness on the side of the MAF sensor. On this car the MAF sensor and the harness have been taped up for some reason. So we're going to use a T20 Torx and just lift the MAF out of its position. And take the opportunity to give the MAF a clean with some of my favourite uh, carburetor cleaner. With a 7mm socket or a flat screwdriver undo the hose clips and remove the hose that feeds air from the air box to the engine. With a 10mm socket undo the nut and release the sensor from the bracket. Rather than removing the sensor from the bracket, if you can undo this T25 screw, you can lift the bracket away from the airbox. But uh, in our case, it's rusted in. Release the air feed to the airbox from the bonnet locking platform, and the airbox should lift out of place, releasing from three rubbers and brackets. Those two there go into those brackets down by the battery. When you're finished and you're putting the airbox back in, a little silicone grease on these three connection points will make it easier and also easier to get back out the next time you do this job. Now the dog can see the rabbit, the oil filter's down here on the left hand side of the engine and undo it with a 27mm socket. And once undone, the cap should bring the filter with it. Don't be tempted to try cleaning in there with either a paper towel or a cotton cloth. Lint fibres and paper fibres are abrasive and they'll get from there into your oil. Now the oil's had a chance to drain into the sump and cool a little. Place your oil drain pan underneath the sump and undo the sump plug with either a 10mm hex or a 21mm socket depending upon what you find. And allow the oil to drain while you go back up top. Separate the filter from the housing cap by pulling it out. It might be quite stiff and quite difficult to do, so you might need to use a pry bar. And do it while it's upside down like that, because there's uh, dirty engine oil in there. Place the new filter into the engine first, with this keyway lowermost, making sure that it goes into its hole in the bottom of the filter housing. With a pick or a small screwdriver, remove the o-ring from the cap, and your filter should come with a new one to put back into position and return the cap to position screw it in by hand as far as you can and screw it in the rest of the way with your 27 millimeter socket and torque it up to 25 newton meters with the drain pan still under the engine pour a half a liter of oil in the top and allow it to drain return the sump plug back into position torque up to 32 newton meters and back up top I like to use a funnel. I also use a previously emptied tub to bring the correct amount of oil for the engine into position. There is some uncertainty over the exact capacity of the sump with a change of filter. I've seen a source that says 3.8 litres and the owner of the vehicle has seen the source that said 4.4 litres. So I'm going to put three and three quarter litres in, give it a quick drive around the block and check the oil level and top up if necessary. It ended up taking 4.3 litres. Return your air box to position the opposite way to the way you got it out along with your uh, air feed pipe. This of course is the turbocharger so we've given it a little bit of a clean while we had the opportunity because this pipe was off and the air box was out. I have done a separate video on cleaning turbochargers. I'll link to it in the description. Don't forget, of course, to put all your sensors and connectors back together. Make sure there's nothing missing. Return your dipstick to position along with the oil cap and the engine cover. If you got value from this video, please support it by liking it and commenting down below. And I shall see you next time.